Hey everybody, this is Kim with Bills to Butterflies and we just got our porter steps in. And um, what it is, an extension of your RV steps. Uh, so the first step will be much wider and, or deeper I should say, and um, the steps won't be as escalated as much. So here we go. John is opening the package. So I've got good reviews on it. Um, kind of a small company. He makes them um, per order um, here in Texas. So it didn't take us very long. It took us about from the day I ordered it to the day we received it a week and a half, maybe? A week to week and a half? Yeah, Something maybe. like that. So, this is handmade. Instructions. Here's our information here. If you're interested. They also have quarter porches, so you could do like an extension and do like an actual porch area. We got this one. Actually, we got a five stepper one. But you see how the platform's bigger? That's the one we got. Wait, which one did we get? We got the one with five steps, including the top. That so it comes in two packages, a tall skinny one and a big box. I guess I thought it was going to be lightweight, apparently it's not lightweight, but I guess it's got to be strong enough aluminum. The big box it has these little legs, these tall boxes, these long, oh this is the railing system. So there's no instructions. They do have like an online video. So we're just gonna test it out. Okay, so those locks are just to hold the hold down. There is a video to do this, but it's been a while since we saw it. We might need to go. Oh, there we go. So the key is turned upside down first. Well, it's just new. So it's tight. All right. So, let me help with the fingers. Well, that's a nice platform. You see, it does on bare feet. Well, but it's Ooh. good for yeah. that. Go back in there. Well, it's not too bad on the feet. Better than these other things are like razor sharp. So then I guess we put the legs on. The legs gotta go on there, I guess. So we just gotta put the legs on the bottom and then the railing system. And then I guess get it lined up right. I don't think we got quite quite lined up right. Okay, so we stopped to watch the video. And before you actually are supposed to put, undo the stairs, and they're a little tight because they're brand new, it would take a while for them to loosen up a little bit. You're supposed to actually insert the legs into the mechanism um, before you actually put it up on the stairs. So we'll adjust those. Together. We had a few questions we weren't sure of and um, we emailed the, it's a small little um, family owned company and he emailed us back within an hour or two on my questions. So my questions were, um, we couldn't open this bar, that it was in the way of the door. So the guy said to put the steps completely to the left and um, then we were um, worried about the stability of it. It seemed like it was wiggling a little bit and by moving it to the left, it not openly allowed us to open the door, but also stabilized it. And then there is these eyelets here. We, we were originally going to tie around, but um, we feel that it's really good now that it's kind of broken in. Um, these hinges here are really tight. So they keep, when you first get it, they keep wanting to draw all the steps back in. Um, and we felt for like two weeks, we were constantly pulling the stairs out. And they probably need another really good pull here. 
Um, but we feel like they're in a really good place now um, where um, they don't keep going back in. But you can kind of see on the ground where they've moved a little bit. But I think we put some WD-40 in the joints and it seems to have helped a lot. We keep pulling them out. Um, it's really nice though um, to have this nice big landing when you first walk out instead of having a drastic drop off.